today, hopefully, I've got a pretty good palette for you. So I have an Amazon Custom Return Electronics palette. So this had two very large boxes that came on one wooden palette. So all these are Amazon Customer Returns, which means there could be damaged, there could be salvage, there could be lightly used, there could be brand new still. So it's kind of a gamble of what condition custom returns might be returned in to Amazon. Once Amazon gets it, then they liquidate it to liquidation companies around the country and then people like me buy it from the liquidation companies who get it direct from Amazon. So with this one, the total Amazon.com MSRP is $2,183. So that's a pretty good price point for two large boxes that came on one pallet. Over $2,000 price point. I'm very happy with that. I'm even happier though with the price I paid for this pallet. $186. You heard that right. So that's going to be probably about what? 8% or so of MSRP? Fantastic price. My goal is 10% of MSRP for the best potential of profit, getting it at about what, 8% or so, maybe 7, 8%, fantastic. So I'm excited to see what is in these two big boxes right here. We'll go through them live on camera. We'll see what it is, maybe talk a little about each item and then go back through and, uh, or go through it and try to see how well or, or how bad that these two boxes might be. Okay, oh, okay, 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 it looks okay in there. Okay, that first box, this first box looks okay. I am okay with this first box. I'm seeing, honestly looking in, I see at least a video game, some Xbox stuff, I see some records. So here we go. Let me pull up this first thing that's right on top of looking at me. Is this the Elite? It's the Xbox, it says Pro Wired Controller Fusion by Powera for Xbox One and Windows 10. Okay. We got a carrying case. Ooh. Is that still all like factory wrapped and packaged? It's probably been out like at least like one time. Oh, that thing is in magnificent condition. I mean, that thing is like magnificent condition. So I'm, I'm happy with this first item. Then it looks like it has a couple of replacement knobs in here. Then it has, looks like the cord for it. So it looks like everything is here. It's in like new condition. So this first item right here, this is a, uh, what's this? It looks like instruction booklet, oh, user manual. So anyway, this first item, this is a home run. That question is, how much does this item sell for? Because I really don't know. So we're gonna find out. Here we go, I found it on Amazon. I just looked on the Amazon app on my phone. It's the Power A Fusion Pro Wire Controller for Xbox One, black Xbox One. Sells new for $79.99 on Amazon. 80 bucks, so it's first item, even open box item. This will be easy, probably 50 bucks right there. It's in fantastic condition. It's like 9.9 out of 10 condition. Everything's there. Probably a minimum of 50 bucks for the first item. I won't be shocked if I can sell for upwards of 60, but we'll just do it like a conservative estimation, about 50 bucks for that first item. I like it. What do we got? Well, that's kind of kind of cool. We have a New York Giants. Looks like this is a iPhone wireless charging, like a QI thing, where you can put your phone right here. Then in here you can put like whatever else you want in there. Looks like the other compartment does not charge anything, just the New York Giants part does. That's kinda cool though, probably good 10 bucks on that. 24 count acrylic paint set. With electronics, it doesn't really matter. 
where you buy it from, how much you pay for your palette, you'll always end up getting some like arts and crafts stuff, all the supplies in your palette, you always will, you, you can't help it. And uh, the trick is trying to figure out how to move the office supplies. And the way I do it is I sell it in bulk to a couple of buyers. I mean, it it might be like a pallet of office supplies that I'll sell to one buyer in bulk for a you know, really good price. That's the best way that I'm able to sell it. But you might be able to sell it differently. You might be able just to piece it out one piece at a time on eBay. I mean, do it that way. Or you can do it locally. Or you can donate the stuff and then use it as a tax write-off. I mean, there's many ways to get rid of the office supplies and stuff like that. But yeah, charging cord. Yeah, the, the office supplies can be a challenge sometimes to get rid of. So just you got to be inventive of how to get rid of the office supplies and make a buck on it. We got a, a wall mount, Echo Gear. Wall mount. Let's see, we have some kind of a carrying case here. Okay, so it's... This would actually fit perfectly my my GoPro. Well, it kind of flops around there though a little bit. I could put the GoPro in this part. Yeah, actually, I think I'm, I'm actually going to do. I can put my charging cord in here, extra battery in here, put the GoPro in this part, and uh, that'll protect the GoPro. Yeah, I'm going to use that as, as a GoPro case for my GoPro. I actually don't have like a travel case for, for the GoPro. I use this like throw it in my computer bag or something, but okay. I got a use for, for, for that bag then. We got a mystery package. Oh, this looks like cell phone replacement screen, I bet. And that is what it is. It is a cell phone replacement screen. The size screen looks like it is a iPhone, like a 10s Max replacement screen. Doesn't look like it's been installed or damaged or anything. So, you know, 20 bucks on that or so. Do-it-yourself screen. Let's see. We here. Here's some records. Let's pull these out. Everybody knows if you watch me on this channel, I really enjoy getting records out of my palace because I uh, collect records. Not all of them, just records that fit in my collection. So most of the ones that I don't like, I sell for like twelve dollars plus foreign shipping for sixteen dollars shipped in the U.S. But here's the first one. It is washed out. Is the group name, I guess. Looks like it has a really cool white ooh thing. It's really dirty. That record's dirty. It needs to be clean. But a cool white record. 12 bucks. Once I get it cleaned up a little bit. This one is polybagged. It is not fighter seal, just polybagged. Looks like this person's name is Kyle. I guess he just goes by kind of like, you know, just Brittany or just Celine or just Madonna. He goes by just Kyle. Never heard of him. Light of Mine. Okay. Then we have Aladdin Soundtrack. It's actually probably a pretty good soundtrack. All these records I always try them out. Oh, but what is in here? I'm about to say, I'm going to enjoy trying this thing out. The record that's in this is Kenny Burrell and John Coltrane is what is in the Aladdin soundtrack. So the person returned a different record in the uh, cover. We got child, oh, I can't talk. Tyler Childers, Country Squire. Never heard of Tyler Childers. Maybe I should have. Nope. Maybe I should have. I don't know. And last one, we got Jimmy Vaughn, Baby, Please Come Home. Okay, so those are goods there. None of those I'll be keeping. Uh, nothing that I listen to, so those will all be for sale. Oh, we got USB cables for the iPhone. Box of cables. 
Oh, we have a scotch tape dispenser. Office supplies. So, hmm, interesting. Oh, we have a suction cup. It mounts your phone onto your dash in your vehicle. Suction cup, phone, boom, like just like that. Actually, my state just put a law in front, trying to pass a law in front of the house, uh, the Indiana house about it's illegal to have your cell phone in your hand while you drive. Doesn't even matter if like you're just holding it just because you like the security. It's kind of like a security blanket in this state now. If your cell phone is in your hand while you're driving and the police catch you, it's a $500 ticket. So, yeah. I don't know, it was supposed to be voted on. Oh, that's gross. It's used. It was supposed to be voted on and uh, I'm guessing it passed. Sketchbook of watercolors. Looks like there's already got some water on it from uh, somebody else. Let's see, what's this? Oh, cool, we have a uh, Xbox One and Windows 10 Power A con uh, Xbox controller. Well, it looks like the other one, well, it's actually the same brand, that Power A. Probably just a much cheaper version of it. That one was 80 bucks new, this is probably like 40 bucks new. So in this condition, like used, like 20, 25 dollars. Let's see what else we got in this. Oh, nice. That's a fancy package. We got another Xbox controller. Enhanced wired controller for the Xbox One Spectra. Let me see what this one looks like. The packaging is rather fancy on it. Let's see. Okay. I don't... I guess, oh, it lights up around here. Well, that's... That's kind of gimmicky. So I guess pay extras because it's going to have a couple of lights on the actual face of it. Okay. Oh, we got a MacBook, uh, like a case for it. Let's see. Oh, we got a, a, a Fujifilm Instant, Instant Stacks Pack. Okay. So there's still three fighter sealed in here. I get these all the time in pallets, and usually there's like one or two packets that are missing. This one's missing three packets, but I actually have, have one right now that needs one to make it full. So what I do is I just keep these, all, all these boxes, and whenever I get one like this, I'm gonna put this one into the one that only has five in it that's in storage, then boom, now that's a full pack. And then it gives me two extra for the next time I get one of these out and, and it's missing one or two, then I got a full pack again. So that's, yeah, that's very common to get those only missing like one or two. That one's missing three though. Okay, this is uh, this is not fetish sealed. This is just poly bagged by Amazon. So we're gonna actually open the poly bag, check to see if the game is actually in it. Amazon poly bag. So it's the Wii U Super Smash Brothers. And, okay, it is in there. Sometimes, you know, the games are missing. Oh, the disc is in immaculate shape, too. So that's cool. Wii U. Let's see. We've got a CD. Peter Gabriel CDs. Only get a couple bucks for them now. We got some packs of batteries here. Amazon branded double A. Wow, a whole bunch of. Double A batteries or triple uh, A, I mean. Full black retractable mechanical pencil. Looks like just like a fancy kind of a pencil. Brand is Rotring. Look like it looks like a fancy pencil. I think it's missing a part of it. Like the whole end of it's missing. So that might not be a complete fancy pencil. This might be missing a piece fancy pencil. I had to research that more. Next we have some ink cartridges for an Epson. It is actually still factory sealed. Let's see, expiration is December 2021, so it's still good. Epson 288XL. This is black and colored. This ink gets very expensive too, so 
I'm actually kind of curious how much this costs. Get some of this ink. Oh, yep. Yeah. This sells new 40 bucks on Amazon. The packaging has a little bit of like distress to the packaging, but it's still factory still It's 100% brand new. Something like this, I throw like on eBay for like 30 bucks and then it'll go like that. You know, a person can save 10 bucks because the packaging is a little bit distressed. I'll be gone in no time. Here's PS4, uh, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. It's missing the original case. Let me see what the disc looks like. Wow, that disc is all messed up. It's like, I'm not sure the camera's gonna pick it up, but up here, it has a huge flaw on it. The actual disc is, looks like it's actually cracked. So more like, oh yeah. There's actually, yeah, this is, I'm going to try it out later, but yeah, it's not going to work. That's going to be trash. <laughs> we have a spindle of CDRs. Another one of these fancy pencils. And I dropped something. FM AM radio. Huh. Let's see this fancy pencil. Yep, see this fancy pencil has the end end on it. So yeah, the other, the other like fancy pencil, yeah, it's, it's missing. Let's see, this box, first box almost done. Thing of pins. We have Instax mini film, a camera case for it, and then watercolors, like some kind of a package deal for your disposable, or not disposable, but for your uh, Fujifilm camera. This thing is all coming out of the package in the box. But anyway, we got a VTech phone. It sells pretty quickly too, whenever I do sell them. I've never had one returned yet, so I'm not too sure why other people are turning these to uh, Amazon for, but it's a highly returned item. Okay, we have glass screen protector. That's going to be for a computer. La Mala Quadra. It's like a movie. And nothing there. Last item. Oh, we got some Gorilla Glue. I'm keeping that. Super Glue a brush. Yep, that's mine. So that's it for the first box. Not bad. We had a total of three Xbox One controllers. Yeah, that's pretty much the only thing of really big value in this one is just the Xbox controllers. Um, so, got one, one more box left still, so hopefully the next one has something a little bit bigger in it. So, I'll be right back. Last box. Let's see. What goodies are in here? Uh, I see more records. That's fun. I'm gonna pull this thing on top. We have some kind of a computer fan, I think. Like a cooling fan for a computer. That's what it looks like. Um, I don't know much about that kind of stuff. Let's see, we got a Steely Car Mount Kit. Another Car Mount, I've never heard of this brand though. This is a new one. Dash Ball Mount. Huh, I'll have to look at this thing a little bit closer. I haven't seen that, that model before. Ooh, we got a mystery box. What is in this? Uh, looks like it's probably going to be an HDMI port, I bet. Well, if I can get it open. Yep, HDMI cord. Amazon Basics branded. You know, cords, a few bucks, not a whole lot. Guitar Pro 7 Tablature Editor Software. What is this? Is it actually in there? Yep, it's in there. 
Guitar, Guitar Pro 7. This one says 7.5 on it. This one says 7, so I'm not sure what that's about. How much does this sell for? I've never heard of Guitar Pro 7 tablature editor software. Might have some value to this thing. Whoa! Okay, this sells new for 79 bucks on Amazon. Wow, okay. So I'm guessing it's gonna have some value as used if it sells new for 80 bucks used. Hopefully maybe like half of that or so. That's nice. Huh, didn't expect to be, I thought it'd be like, honestly like 10 bucks maybe. It's kind of expensive. A laptop cooling stand. These things are so hard to sell. Sells eventually, but man, you gotta be patient. Smart Nursery Alert Sensor. Download the free Hubble Connect for Smart Nursery app. Huh. That's still all new in the package. It all has the uh, covers on it too. That has not been used whatsoever. I'm gonna take a little gander at price on this. Some of this baby stuff can get kind of expensive. Something like this could be more than what I think. Oh, never mind. <laughs> 20 bucks new. <laughs> only, it's only 20 bucks, so never mind. Let's see. Peter Gabriel CD. iPhone 6 6S Otterbox Fender Case iPhone 6. Yeah, that's that's pretty much an obsolete phone now. I mean, it's still used by some people, but it's it's an obsolete phone. We got some like medicine bottles in here. Why is that electronics? Medicine bottles? Okay. Let's see. Oh, Wii game Just Dance 2020. Is the game in it? Yep. Game is there. Eh, pretty scratched up, but maybe it'll work. Maybe not. Oh, another stand. This one's like an iPad, tablet, PC stand. Nothing special. Oh, nice. We got 4K Ultra HD Harry Potter 8 film collection. 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray plus digital. Redeem code by 1231-2018. Well, we're about a, what, year and a half have passed the expiration on the code. So the digital download will be expired, no matter what. Here's Ultra HD. Oh, nice. Nice. Here's the code. Of course, it's probably not gonna work no matter what. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, all the Ultra HD are there. Here is the eight film on Blu-ray. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're all there. Okay, this is sold as a set. It's the same thing, eight films on the 4K, eight films on Blu-ray. If you sold this as a set, it might sell for one price. If you sold just this by itself and just this by itself, you might actually get more out of it. Sometimes you actually do. So we're going to do a little game here. I'm, I'm going to find out. Okay, so both of these together, if I sold these together, like the, the, the whole set, it would sell used on eBay for about 80 bucks. If I sold them as a set together, okay? Okay, so I'm seeing it sold just the 4K by itself. I'm seeing it sold for 55. I saw it down here somewhere. Most here's one sold for 60. Most people aren't breaking up the set, they're selling it together. I'm just kind of curious if you break up the set, how much does it sell for? Um, so it looks like between 50 and 60 for this by itself for just the 4K. Just the eight film collection on Blu-ray sold as used. I'm seeing 25, 28, 26, 20, 
28, 20, 27, 24, 25, 25, 26. So, okay, so this sells an average between 20 and $25. This sells between 50 and 60. So if we take the low of both, that'd be about 70 bucks, 50 and 20, 70. If you take the high of it, it'd be like 60 and 25, like 85. So if I sold these together as a set, they sell for about 80 bucks. If I break it up, they sell for about 80 bucks. So I was kind of curious actually to take that test myself and see if it, if you'd get more if you split these up and sold them individually and actually you wouldn't. You'd give out the same price no matter how you sold these. So, okay, I was just curious. I just want to do like a little, you know, reseller kind of knowledge test for myself to see if that works. Because sometimes it, you get more whenever you break things up, but that one, if you break it up, it's pretty much the same price. Accessory handset for AT&T house phone. About 10 bucks on that. Here's a big old box. Pen holder and music and magic color table lamp. Yeah, I don't see that selling very fast. <laughs> it's like that's going to sit for a while. We got some more records in here. What's this? We got Minecraft for Wii U. That's probably a pretty good game right there in terms of value. Is Minecraft still popular? It was popular. Disc is fantastic shape. It was popular for several years, and I think it kind of fell off maybe. I could be off on that, though. I don't really hear much about Minecraft anymore. Because for several, for what, a couple years, it was all about Minecraft and uh, Fortnite. It seems like I don't hear much about Minecraft anymore. Ooh, sells new for 60 bucks still. Sells used for 25 so that's not bad. 25 bucks for a used video game. Not bad. We've got a Prismatic Premier. Looks like colored pencils. A set of them. More office supplies, of course. Let's see, some Avery labels. What we got? What we got? Oh, Lacuna Coil. Lacuna Coil. I saw them in concert like, wow, 15 years ago, maybe. Longer than that, I think. It was probably back in like 04, 05, I'm, I'm thinking it was. So it's probably more like, yeah, 15, 16 years ago, I saw Lacuna Coil in concert. I think it was with Rob Zombie whenever I saw Lacuna Coil. Excellent live show, though. And I've been a fan of them for a long time. But I've only seen them in concert live one time. Having issues with this there. But uh, yeah. We got some smooth jazz. Don't make me over the songs of Burt Bacharach and Hal David. <laughs> That'll be a fast seller. Christmas Carol. Is this the original black and white one or like the old school one? I think it is. Maybe. Well, that's a weird looking disc. The disc is like. Like, I'm not sure what you call it, like frosted. The disc has like a frosted look to it. Kind of makes sense, like, you know, it's Christmas Carol, like snow, you know. Here we go. We have mechanical pencils. Over half of them have been used, and the person returned just like a third of them. Makes sense. Let's see, we got some charging cords. They're all the micro USBs. Let's get these records out of here. They keep looking at me, and they're tempting me. Let's see, we got Vivaldi of the Four Seasons. Then we got, oh, we got Nipsey Hustle, Victory Lap of Nipsey Hustle. Let's see, then we have Jesse May Hemphill. Never heard of that one. Next, oh, I see the Beatles. We got Help. Actually, I don't think I have help. I have probably about 75% of all the Beatles records, and I think I actually I need help still. So this one more likely will go into my actual record collection because I'm pretty sure I need help. If I don't need it, then I'll sell it, but I think I need it. Oh, we got a Nirvana. Which, is this their first album, I think? Or is it the greatest hits? Heart-shaped box, Bada Sun, Sliver. 
All apologies. Come as you are. Okay, yeah, so this is actually just the greatest hits album for Nirvana. So, uh, actually, I might keep that one, too. <laughs> and then last one we have Ed Sheeran at Divide. So that's kind of fun. So it looks like I might be, able to be I might keep the Beatles and Nirvana for my own collection. If I don't have them, I, I know I don't have a Nirvana Greatest. Actually, I might have a Nirvana Greatest Hits. I'll have to look for both of them. If I have them, I'll sell them. If I don't have them, I'll be keeping them. That's that same Neo Geo. I got this thing. Was it last last weekend in Electronics Pro? I think I got this. Maybe it's two weeks ago now. And it was missing the actual game. That's all it has is the game again. It only has the game in it. Last one had the same thing. It was missing this. Missing this. It only had this. Why? That's the second one I've got that was missing these two items. And from my research, it's supposed to have them. From my research. Unless if I researched it wrong. I mean, I guess that's possible. But that's kind of strange. And uh, Neo Geo, just the cartridge by itself. Just the little game cartridge. I think it's like 30 bucks or so. Because I researched it. Last week, whenever I got it out, or two weeks ago, whenever it was. Let's see, we got an iPhone, little cheapy case. We have a uh, wall outlet, like surge protector. We got a pink, is this iPhone? Yep, iPhone cord. Another cheapy iPhone case. Oh, we got a, a uh, harmonica, a Fender harmonica with a plastic case. Add a little confetti to each day, a record book. Oh, okay. Different. Then, oh, we have a Fuji film. It's just probably back by Amazon, not factory sealed. Go and check it out. Live on camera. Because no matter what, whenever you sell it, you have to Take off the poly bag to me make sure that it's even in here. First thing. These also sell extremely fast. The Fujifilm can't. Oh, that's still. That thing's still all factory packaged in there. I don't even want to pull it out. It's still factory packaged. So yeah, that's a good. Oh, well, I think the price of this actually dipped after Christmas because they were going for more. It's going to verify because I'm kind of curious myself now. So it sells new still for 68 bucks. Trying to think the last ones I sold. I think I sold for like used for like 30. If this is still like factory packaged with the way it looks, this could be close to about 40 bucks on that one. Let's see what else we got in here. Get towards the end of the end of the box. I don't know what that is. Uh, the research. Oh, we have a uh, iPhone cord, a fancy one, a cheapy case again. I keep getting those in, in my palettes. We have an Amazon Basics Bluetooth mouse, another Amazon Basics one of those iPhone cords with the that you can pull out. Let's see. Micro USB cables, cheapy cell phone case, cheapy cell phone case. We have an LED digital alarm clock. The packaging, I want to work on the packaging to make it look a little bit prettier than this, because, I mean, yeah, work on that. What else we got? Okay, we have another little little timer you put onto your oven, like a small little oven timer with a little stand on the back of it, so it'll, it'll stand up. Liquid silicone for the new iPhone, or for Samsung new phone. Oh, it's just a cheapy case. Then we have, oh, mail to B mail cable. USB 2.0 A mail to B mail cable. We have <laughs> a bag of pens. We have this daily planner. I've gotten the same one now, I think three or four times out of pallets. The plan, kindness, gather, joy. And last item in these two boxes. 
is Beams White Blanco. Three of them. Stick LED, stick anywhere light. Okay, so that's it. That's all two boxes. Um, all in all, it wasn't terrible. Wasn't the best. Actually, the first box had the three Xbox controllers in it. This one had, you know, the nice Fujifilm camera. A whole bunch of just hodgepodge stuff. A whole bunch of, like, dollar items. A bunch. Um, now, the second box didn't really have... Oh, the second box had actually the best item in the whole palette. The Harry Potter films, which sold for about 80 bucks, actually. So, this actually had the highest item. Uh, I mean, all in all, it's probably pretty even. This also had the... This box had the Neo Geo in it, so I don't know. I paid a hundred and what I say eighty some dollars for this, so I'm going to make money on on this palette. Just the Xbox controllers should probably come close to getting most of my money back, hopefully, and everything else will be pure profit then. So I mean, yeah, it's still going to be profitable. There's a lot of small stuff, and there's lots of uh, you know five dollar items in these two boxes. A lot of them, and a lot of the office supplies i just lumped together and sell in bulk to one buyer um so yeah this is going to be a little bit of work selling all this stuff in these two boxes this won't be a fast sale it might take a few weeks upward to a month to move everything but it will sell and i will make money on this pal but this is real life pallet flipping um some pallets will have nothing but video games and cool stuff this one had a lot of lower end stuff mixed in with some high end stuff so it was a decent mixture but it wasn't like overly exciting kind of a stuff it wasn't like I'm pulling out PS4 games like crazy like I have in the past but this was, this was a good palette it'll be a profitable palette and as a full time reseller whenever you buy stuff the goal is to make money and this will make money so this is a win in my book so I appreciate you watching this video be on the lookout. I upload pout videos three times a week right now on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I'm going to start doing pout videos four times a week now. So I might drop an extra pout video on possibly either Sunday or Monday going forward for a while just to test out doing four pout videos a week as a tester. Just see how it, see how it goes. So be on the lookout for that and I'll see you next time. I'm out. <laughs>